Silver Watcher coming at you for a quick knife review. Sorry if you can hear the fan. I live in a house with no AC. Alright, so I got this Smith Wesson Extreme Blade Ops. As a joke, everyone calls these speed holes. Haha. Uh -huh. uh, the reason why I'm doing this review is I've had this knife for about four or five years. Now, when opening, the liner lock goes all the way, almost dead right. Blade centering is perfect. But yeah, so I get there. So Smith and Wesson Extreme Ops. It's really sharp, dead even. It's just that's no good. Any knife person out there knows that's not where it's supposed to be. That's bad. And that model is CK105H. Bad thing that that happened. Good thing that's like a seven to nine dollar knife. So I bought a new one. <laughs> so I can show you. Let me pop both out so you can see. That's almost dead right. That one's more to the left. This one's nice and shiny. Although it's dirty because it's straight from the factory. I haven't uh, put any lube, blue lube on here so it doesn't go fast but I don't really need it. It opens up pretty well. And this one actually comes decently sharp. It's got some nice jimping up top. So it's a full, full hander. And also because that's to the right, it's really hard. I know it doesn't look like it, but I have to put a lot of pressure for that to go. So this is the new one. Got my speed holes. Also, I've never used it, but there's room for a lanyard. And it's kind of goofy placement. I get it because the pivot's right there. It would be nice if that was up there, so it'd be a deep pocket carry. But there she is. So that's my review the Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops CKH105. Silver Watcher away!